The one o'clock ferry was booked out. Who would have thought? It's not even holiday season. I thought oh, I'll just walk on. Well, maybe making that mistake again. So I got five hours, five and a half hours, <laughs> and I can't go and enjoy anything because I've got these two bags. Episode's almost done. This is how you do the work, people. Well, probably not. It's hard to see the screen. Oh yeah, I'm off to see Mark. He's uh, one of my fans. He's got a boat over in Poros. So he said, get your ass on a ferry and come and visit me. Well, I went, all right. They're not letting me go up on top. I said I can swim, but apparently some people can't. I didn't know they knew that sailing into freedom was coming, people. There's the red carpet they had out for me. It's welcome sailing into freedom. Fireworks. Well, no topless girls, but you know. There was a couple of big burly men. Let's go check out the town. It's just so pretty. White, marbly and pretty. Everything. So romantic for one. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a bit embarrassing, really. It's a port town. Everything's white and marbly. All the chairs are white. Even the dirt's white. People, how do they manage that? It's crazy. Well, except for that boat. But is a flash one. I don't think any of those people that uh, own it or their tennis partners or even their tennis partner's servant would watch my vlog. Okay, I think I found my calibre restaurant. Here we go. Want to the people? You have beautiful hair. This man and his hair. Oh, yeah. No, this is this is called this is called economy on a boat. Living on a boat. You're living on so you're a pirate. pirate. My friend. I dress as a pirate, but I'm not a pirate. So you're you're not you're not Greek. I'm Greek. Really? I'm Greek and Irish. The uh, best combination. What the fuck? I'm a corner, so you don't disturb. Sit in the corner. It's just like my teacher. Peter, <laughs> corner. <laughs> wow. My mother is one bossy lady, so I've taken that. She was, I wish I was spending more time here. I'd love to meet your mum and your donkey. I'd like to meet your donkey. Oh, my mother? Yeah. Is she classy? She's a character. She's is she one, just like you? One of a kind. She's 150 in height. 150? Oh my goodness. But she's like a chihuahua. You yeah. don't mess with her. Really? She, tells, she goes into the supermarket, she lifts up the owner of the supermarket from the chair, she sits on the chair, lights a cigarette, says, okay, I want this, this, and this. And everyone else gets everything ready for her. Yeah. She's 72 years old, she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> she doesn't give a shit. She doesn't like people. <laughs> she's happy, she's got her cigarettes. She's not gonna like, she's like got me, her yeah. books, she doesn't care. She doesn't give a shit about anything. This is Arabella's adorable dog. That's my dog. She knows how to charm. These yes. hands are soft. She's saying I'm a nice woman. And warm, like great She's saying I'm a hands, woman, people. Okay? But he's not <laughs> built in his own boat. She's, She's getting nice. other people. <laughs> She's seeing right through me. She's saying now I've got girl hands in Greek. It's just it's embarrassment. There's a whole heap of people around me and they're laughing, people. Every person does what each person wants to do. The orgasm that comes out of building your own boat and then riding it. Oh, yeah. 
I don't know about an it's orgasm. It's about building it's your own It's more like dreams. relief. It's building your own dreams. Like, yeah. I, fuck it, I want to build. How do I want it? This is the way I want it. I'm going to build it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a kind of thing that when people have a passion in life that's crazy, it's the most attractive thing in the world. The most attractive. The most she likes my hair, and now she sounds very attractive. Dreams. This is alright. Maybe. Might have to cut it there, people. I'm up early on Hydra. Thought I'd take a look around. It's a pretty, pretty town. Well, pretty, pretty little island. Morning of first, people. Who wants to see my ass? <laughs> you thought something else, didn't you? One of these has got his, um, you know what, showing. I'm not going to show it because I'll get demonetized. Again, I I'm not saying I've shown a ass's dick before in the past, but there's been other instances, you know, this woke rubbish. What's this world coming to? Got off the ferry, people, all my gear, and look, he's waiting for me. Here you go. <laughs> How you doing, mate? I've never met him. Oh, I just got to get it the right light. I've never met this guy before. This is Mark. Some Mark's got check. some um, things to tell us, people, about getting on a boat. He's got balls. He has. Not many people just go right. I'm signing up. I'm going on my boat, and that's what he's just done recently. So let's. Um, Let's ask him some questions and see what happens. Check out that field. Smell the sea again, people. Going a bit crazy living in Athens. This is much better. Olive trees, citrus fruit, what do you call them? Clementines, mandarins. I'm gonna go get some breakfast. Actually, I've already got, I don't know if you can see that. These are loquats already. You raided the locals uh, trees in town. Bloody good. Look at my pockets, they're all completely full. All right. Well, I thought it went all the way up front in the center. It's deceiving. Excellent. This is my home for the next few days. How good's that? Yeah, it pays to have a YouTube channel. Doesn't pay very well, but you know, occasionally you get to meet some nice people. Thanks, Mark. Anytime, Peter, you're more than welcome. <laughs> Make yourself at home, Peter. Use it as though it's your own boat. Alrighty then, I'm stripping off people. I'm sitting here like this and I'll scratch my balls. Mark's taking me on a bushwalk here, people. We're, uh, Climbing up a local volcanic peak. Gonna have a look at the top, see what we see. We've been sussing out some paragliding spots. They're all, I could probably take off, but it's a bit of a bummer, because there's no real landings. And there's lots of power lines. So we're just gonna check out this site. And right in the distance there, people, just past that island, that's Athens, the little white smudge. Mark's my Greek guide. But he spent only what two weeks in Greece so far. Yeah, two weeks so far. But there's gonna be a lot more time to spend more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> We're gonna have an interview maybe this afternoon because he's uh, one of a special type of human being that's been watching sailing channels. Maybe not mine, but actually he does watch mine. And he's sold up everything. And he's bought a boat. And now he's in Greece to fix it up. Wow. Okay, you can see Athens better now. You going good? Up this way. That's it. 
legend dog. Apparently this is the chimney, people. We've got to watch out the Santa Claus is not coming out because he's a fat bastard. There's not going to be room for the two of us, people. All right, no Santa Claus. Well, it's the wrong time of year, isn't it? Apparently we've got 2,000 islands in Greece. So that's, if you visited one a day, it's almost six years. It's a lot of islands, people. And lots of them, there's no one there. Or there's some parts of them that there's no one there. We're just chewing the fat here with Mark, and he's just got an interesting story. He's going, I didn't know whether, because he found out I was in Greece, he didn't know um, whether to contact me or not. Okay, you can continue the story. This is a second take, but you can't have the camera rolling all the time, people. I don't have enough batteries. Oh, there you go. Well, I've never reached out to anybody on social media, never. And I was just thinking, I wonder if I should. He's in Greece, he's only half an hour that way. I wonder if I should reach out. And just as I'm thinking, should I or not, a sparrow came down and sat on the table and started tweeting really loudly within reaching distance. And it just made me, well, the last video that I saw with him in it, he was having trouble with a sparrow. <laughs> so it was just like, the sparrow told me I had to get in touch with Peter. From this uh, guy who was um, going through tremendous trouble, the whole family, he's going, I'm going to have to kill this bird, people. Oh. Okay, didn't kill it for all you animal lo lovers. I, 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 I love annoying sparrow, right? I mean, if I had a rock. Sent him a text, sent him an email, and here he is. Look at that, what a nice story that is, hey people. Remember that sparrow that I had to shoot about <laughs> 72 seven times? <laughs> Just figuratively, people. What a nice story. We're going to hear more from Mark when we, because we're going to probably go back now, I'm going to make a big spag bowl <laughs> for a few meals in, in his boat. Jesus, do you have to move around so much? Yeah, don't mind me, dog. That's it, just sit on my elbow. Hi, people. She was deliriously happy. <laughs> I've been gone for three minutes getting some bolognese stuff. Come back, deliriously happy. This is what I want in a woman. <laughs> Licking me. Now she, and then as soon as I put the camera on, she turns into a real woman. <laughs> Cooking up bolognese people. I had a slight problem with the the pots. We hadn't discovered because uh, Mark's only just bought this boat. Uh, that's the biggest pot, and I put the bolognese in it. It should have been the other way around. Fresh garlic. Never done it with fresh garlic before. Do you have to get in the same ratio as the pots? You can <laughs> you can do your own ratio, whatever you like. That looks good. Bon appetit, people. Dig in. We're going. Are you a spaghetti cutterer? I am, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fogging up the lens. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Mm. Hey, look, people, dinner and a show. This is the dog's way of saying, I'm still hungry, fellas. Look at me. Mm. <laughs> G'day people, got the perfect ambience. We're out here, we've got the compressor running, we've got some tinkering down there, some, what, blasting of water, you know, water jetting someone's bottom of his boat down there, it's perfect. We've got Mark, and we've got Mindy, hey Mindy. Presents, present. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so Mark, got some questions? Got my piece of paper? 
Fade away. Um, what is your favorite? Very few people go from the dream stage of, uh, you know, dreaming about sailing to implementation and then to finally go off and to sail. And Mark here is on his new boat. Well, it's a second hand boat, but it's a new boat to him. And he's on the implementation. And in how long will you be in the... Actually in the water? Yeah. In a couple of weeks, couple hopefully, of weeks. if everything goes well. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so um, why? Why sailing? It was a dream from me younger days yeah. that totally got forgot about with kids and life taking over everything. So you were, say, mid-30s? Mid-30s. Yeah. 30, 32, 33, I went to a place where I could have bought a boat. Yeah. And never bought a boat. I bought a house and we settled down and had kids. Yeah, okay. Now the kids are getting older, they're not yeah. kids anymore, my youngest is 18. Mm. It's a good time to do something for me and my wife, changing life, yeah. and see what happens because I realised when the 2019 came, how quickly the world can change, yeah. just, just like that. Yeah. So it gave me a little push to think, got to do it now or maybe never. Okay, and uh, do you mind, how old are you now? Now I'm 56 years old. Right, so you're not really a retirement age. No, you're you're no. quite early, early on. Okay, well that's good. So, all right, so you're almost there. Uh, he actually wants me to um, show him how to sail a little bit. Um, Don't know if that's a good thing or yeah, a bad thing. But... Poss possibly not, possibly <laughs> not. Uh, Mindy's got my sock in her mouth. That's my washing. Good on you, Mindy. You Girl. Top stuff, well done. There you go. Nothing but quality there, people. Um, hold on. Is it on? Okay. So, um, all right. What does your wife think about this? I mean, you're excited about it. I'm excited Thanks, about beautiful. it. <laughs> I've never worked with animals or children, people. <laughs> you're excited. What about I'm your excited. Wife? My wife's excited and worried. Yeah. But I'm so lucky with her because it's my dream and yeah. she's willing to follow my dreams and put her confidence into my hands. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. And are the kids coming? They look beautiful. The kids are coming, yeah. Definitely kids are coming. That's the idea to do it as a family. I yeah. hope it grabs hold of them as well to get them out of the rat race and into a life with good air. What is your sailing experience? My sailing experience is zero. Nothing at all. Bubkus and none. Nothing. So Nothing. you don't really need... Um, what would you say is the only... I've got an answer here. What would you say is the only prerequisite? I mean, you're not a sailor yet, right? But in your mind, what do you think is your only prerequisite to going sailing? Getting over your fears. Yeah? Getting over your fears. If you can put that behind you and set off, I'm lucky enough that I usually pick things up quickly. So yeah. let's hope that I pick sailing up quickly before I put a hole in my boat. Well, I, I think in a practical way, what I was trying to ask, yeah, come on, come on and go, go on across. Let's hit beautiful, let's hit, cover my face up. The audience will love that, well done. Hello, beautiful. Um, there you go, people. The, the dog knows. She's the, she's the director. The dog knows when I've been on the camera for too long. Um, now, what I was uh, trying to get at is your prerequisite. I think, I think, people, the only prerequisite you need is you need to be good with your hands or able to fix things yourself. That's the, yeah, what I reckon. Yeah. And are you, um, are you a handyman? Are you able to do that sort of stuff? Luckily, I'm a very handyman, yeah. And yeah. I love learning things. I love really learning things. And my hands have always been the way I've lived. <laughs> <laughs> Mindy, stop it. Only later on when the camera's not on. <laughs> Here, sit down. I've been wrestling with this dog on my lap in, in the two-seat car. This dog just thinks I'm a pillow. <laughs> Okay, I know you're good with your hands. I just wanted to get it out there because um, it's here. All right, beautiful dog. Because you don't really need sailing experience. You'll work it out. It's not rocket science. It's sailing science, people. It's not hard, but things will break, and you need to be able to fix them. And if you have, most people watch my channel are on limited funds, so as soon as you start fixing things and getting other people to fix them, that's what I mean. Uh, it's going to cost a lot of money, so you need to do it yourself. Um, and Mark is set up like that. He's been um, renovating houses. Yeah, um, yeah, more or less. For the last 20 years or something, eh? Even 30 years. 30 yeah. years. So you're all sorted there. Uh, doesn't know how to sail. He's got 
a beautiful catamaran, how it was, 36 foot, 38 foot? In feet, it's 11 meters. 11 meters. What is your favorite sailing channel? Well, maybe it could be sailing to freedom. Of course it is, because I told you that's what you're going to say. <laughs> but what other channels, because you, for how long have you been watching sailing channels? I started watching them right at the beginning of my dream to see if it was just my dream and how it would work out. Yeah, but what, five years ago? Yeah, about about four years ago. Yeah. Four years four, ago. So years ago. you knew you wanted to get on the boat when, oh, hold on, tell us that story again. You, um, one of your employees, wasn't he? Or, yeah, or... One, of my, one of my work colleagues, he wanted time off and he said he was having a day off to do his boat license and it just totally triggered my dream off. I totally forgot about it and it just yeah. sparked it and that was it then. I knew that I had to get a boat. I and so, and from then, what you got onto YouTube and you started. And then I started to have a bit of interest in it again. Got onto YouTube, yeah. came across this guy, <laughs> who seems who seems my style of <laughs> my, my style of sailor. Because <laughs> yeah. I am on a budget. I am on a budget. We've yeah. got not a lot of money. Yeah. And the longer I can do things myself, the longer I can get by, is the longer I can do this for yeah. me for my lifestyle. Yeah. You, Mark is actually a really good example. Um, not a lot of money. Good with his hands, has the dream, still quite young and fit, still right? Fit, still fit. And um, but he's done the next leap. He's gone into implementation. Now what we're going to do is, we'll, hopefully in a month or two, or maybe I come and help you sail in a month or two, or just come perfect. on the boat, and we'll follow up and we'll see, you know, how everything's going. But the biggest leap is to fork out the cash yeah. to actually buy this very large piece of thing that's going to soak up your money, yeah, possibly, possibly, you know. Well, it's always going to soak up your money, but depending on how well you get a control on it. Uh, and I think you will, I think you will. So what other sailing channels did you find that was helpful in you? I liked the tower because that was a family doing it. All right, but right. straight away realized that that was not my budget. So that was out of order, but I liked the tower. Um, yeah, but they're taking it to the next level. They sold everything. Surely they sold everything and then they're off. Sorry, I'm just having a dig because on one of the episodes, he's going, Oh, we're taking it to the next level, we've sold everything, and then they took a holiday to one of their country homes yeah, or some yeah. some country uh, house they've got in the, the sticks. But anyway, that's all right. If you've got it, you, you may as well uh, use it. All and, right, so you like Zatara and, what else? and Colin as well, Pilot Re Revival. That's I love watching his stuff. Okay, well, he does a lot of repairs, so yeah, there's yeah. a lot of instructions there. Uh, only, a, only a few, or is there any more? No, that, that was about it, really. really? I, um, How'd you stumble onto my piece of rubbish? Sorry, people, uh, my um, specific niche in artistic talent. <laughs> It must have been because I typed sailing, <laughs> and so sailing into par into freedom came. Yeah, but uh, usually it'd be in the bottom two hundred. No, it, it must have been something like that. Out of one hundred and eighty-seven channels, I'm at ranked at number two hundred and eleven. So it, it well, would have been right at the bottom of the feed. Well, that, that just shows me that my destiny was to be <laughs> sat outside of you yeah. in Greece on my boat. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do you remember the first episode you saw? Uh, you know, I don't even remember the first episode I saw. Yeah, people, I try to forget them too. I remember, I remember being really impressed with his series as through COVID. It, it oh, just, yeah. it just totally made me think. I could do that. I want to do that. I used to be that person, and I will be that person again. Yeah. It was yeah. just it inspired me. Inspired me. Okay. The Exile series, people. If you haven't watched it, it's the thing that sh saved the channel. <laughs> We were stuffed before that. We were literally stuffed. And then something apparently bad happened and it was all good. <laughs> there you go. All right. Um, well, look, um, let's uh, keep an eye on him and let's see how he goes. Uh, but I, uh, I think he's going to love it. I think it's going to be great. So basically, this is just to show you that it can be done. Not a lot of money. No experience whatsoever. Um, just good with his hands and the can-do attitude, and you're already you're you're two thirds of the way here because you've there. you've got a couple more things to do on the boat. What are, what are you, what are the things you got to do on the boat? More or less, just putting a bit more electronics on it, so I've got a depth finder yeah. and things like that, just for security for me, not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so he's two thirds of the way there, and when he gets on the water, he probably never want to leave. So.
that you've done the hardest part so congratulations it's a pleasure to meet you don't don't let me forget thanks to my wife as well for following me and trusting my dreams good on her good on her <laughs> And don't forget, if you're a patron or PayPaler, you have access to the lost videos. Three crews, six girls lost to the void. These are just for you guys. Here's a sneak preview. our laundry people finally oh no <laughs> <laughs> So join up and become a supporter today. If you're already a patron, please check my Patreon page for new videos every week. Alternatively, if you're a PayPaler, I will send you links to the videos every week. There is already a growing list of lost videos out now.